So what I'd like to do is outline the most recent research from my particular field of face recognition and perhaps draw to your attention some aspects of that research that might have relevance for your clinical practice as optometrists. The problem with prosopagnosia is not a difficulty in seeing the features. The patient can tell you, yeah, there's two eyes, a nose and a mouth, and yet that moment when it just normally clicks that this is John just doesn't arrive. If I ask any of you to look at a typical face photograph, you will move your eyes in a very characteristic way. If we consider a patient with glaucoma, we find that the type of paracentral scotoma that we see in glaucoma may well occlude these characteristic features. So the current thinking is that the way that we move our eyes to recognize faces can cause a specific problem in patients with glaucomatous visual field loss. What if someone comes into your practice and it's unlikely to be the reason for visit, but perhaps they mention it during their symptoms? What would you do to address someone that has symptoms of impaired face recognition? So these are my recommendations. 